Today I'm going to teach you exactly how to edit Apple styled videos in DaVinci Resolve. If you guys want to follow along, I have left three free backgrounds down below for you guys to use. Without further ado, let's teach you guys how to edit like Apple. So this right here is going to be the very first text effect that we learn. So the very first thing you need to do is come to the titles and just grab a simple text plus. Now using that free font that I gave you down below, just install it into your DaVinci Resolve. And I'm just going to type out the all new. Now come to shading and go to gradient. Now come over to the gradient and then hit this very first point and we're going to turn up the contrast and we're going to change this to a yellow orangish kind of look and we're going to come to this one and change it to like a pinkish purplish look now under the mapping level we're going to come and go ahead and hit line now change the mapping angle to around negative 90. now off the rip you should have in this insane clean gradient look now come to the fusion page of that text effect and after the template hit shift space for a soft glow and now fit your glow settings to fit my glow settings over here great now you have the first text effect now let's animate it come over to the template and we're going to right click in this little box and we're gonna go to follower. Now head over to the modifiers and you're gonna now have the follower tab. Come to the transform and on frame zero, we're going to hit a keyframe on our offset. Then we're going to bring our animation down to about negative 0.18. Go up approximately 20 frames and bring that back up to the middle, which is just zero. Now head into the spline and check mark the template. Hit command A, which would highlight both the points. Right click and go to ease and then go to out cubic. Now you have this animation. Now go to timing and turn the delay to 0.05. Come back to the follower and go to shading. Hit a keyframe on frame zero on the opacity and turn the opacity down. Go approximately five frames later and turn the opacity back up. And boom, just like that, now we have the first text effect done. To the second text effect, this is what the second one looks like. Drag down a text plus and use that same exact font that I give you, except this time we're gonna do black italic. Head into the fusion page, right click and go to follower. Go to the modifiers, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go to transform. We're going to hit a keyframe on the offset. Double click the follower node and then scroll down just like so. Go approximately 20 frames forward, back to zero. This time, what we're gonna do is we're going to hit Command A and hit S on our keyboard. And then we're going to smooth this animation out just like this. So now we have a little bit of a different approach. So it smooths up really fast and then it smooths out at the end. It looks really clean. Okay, cool. Now come to shading and go to the opacity, turn it all the way down, hit a keyframe and go approximately seven frames and turn the opacity back up. Come to the timing and go turn this delay up 0.4. So on to the last text effect, which is this one right here. Go ahead and grab that same text effect we made earlier and go ahead and copy it over into another text plus. In the fusion page of that same animation, we're gonna hit shift space and turn and search for a transform node after the template. We're gonna turn the angle up to about 2.6. We're gonna scroll down on our timeline to down to 0.2. We're gonna hit a keyframe. We're gonna go 40 frames above and we're gonna hit 0.5 on our keyboard. Now come to the spline page. This is where everything is going to be made. Hit zoom to fit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play around with this animation. So I'm gonna hold up and I'm going to create an upward motion animation. By doing that, I'm gonna create this animation that looks something like this. When you're looking at the chart, this is big. You wanna hit another point right here and then bring this back down and then put this one to be more smooth, just like so. Bring this one up a little bit more. So you want an animation that curves all the way up, goes down, and then goes back up. And once you create something like that, it should look something like this, just like how Apple has the bouncing animation, just like that, okay? Um, now it depends on how long you want it. I have it 40 seconds. Some people like to have it only 20 seconds long, but for this one, you could just create it as a 40 second animation. Now make sure you watch this part because this is about to be the heat. To save these three as a preset, hit the three lines and hit show power bins. Hit new bin, create Apple animation, Go into Apple Animation and drag each of these text effect layers into this bin. Once you have all of these, these will be in, in every single project file you open. And if you guys want, I have my own asset pack down below that you can get. It is the all-in-one bundle. You get every pack in one. You get over 250 plus text animations that I have handmade myself. And it's a time saver because you get to drag and drop it. So go check those out. Now onto the file animation. Now you can get this black gray gradient in, in the new Apple pack beta, but I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna just use this as my ground layer. I'm gonna come up to effects and I'm gonna grab an adjustment clip and put it down on the timeline below. Go into this adjustment clip so we're gonna create a simple animation we're gonna bring this this rectangle down and we're gonna make it into the shape of a file just like this and we're gonna turn up that corner radius to make it look more like a file from the jump we're gonna size this up just make it look pretty good then grab another rectangle and this one we're gonna make completely smaller just like this 
and then we're gonna really crank up that corner radius. Connect the two, then drag in a background and connect it to the rectangle. Change this background to white. Then we're gonna hit shift space for a edge detect. Then in the merge, we're gonna hit shift space for Gaussian blur. Add that Gaussian blur in. Then after the Gaussian blur, we're gonna hit shift space for a merge. Now add this edge detect to the merge. And now you have something that looks like this. Now you can finally see what you're working with here. So we're gonna take this second rectangle and put it above just like this to actually get that file effect. So boom, just like that. If we look at it, we're looking more like a file. We're gonna select these three, rectangle one, rectangle two, and background one. We're gonna copy it and we're gonna paste it onto the left side. We're then gonna bring in a transform node and drag it right here, connecting it to the background of the transform. Then add the transform to the Gaussian blur. Now this is important. Make sure you take the background of the background and change it to the blue of the edge detect too. Now this is the sauce. This is going to get rid of all this black stuff right here. We're gonna to go to the merge and come to the apply mode and hit this type tinted noose, however you say it. When you hit that, it is going to give you this Apple effect that, you're, that you've always been looking for. So now we're gonna come over here and turn up this edge detect and then turn down the brightness just a little bit. Turn up that gamma. We're just gonna kind of mess with these settings. Turn up the blur just a little bit. Maybe turn up that edge detect just a little bit more. Now we have this file liquid glass look and it's looking extremely crispy. Now after this edge detect, I'm gonna hit shift space for a transform node. Now, if you see this, you're gonna see that now we can mess with what we're working with here. So I have the background, you guys can use whatever background you want, or you can use the free three backgrounds that I leave in the link below. Essentially with this transform two, we're gonna go ahead and hit this as a, at an angle of like 2.6. We're gonna come down on our timeline and we're gonna hit a keyframe and we're gonna go approximately 35 frames forward and come back to 0.5. Now go to the spline and we're really gonna mess with this animation. So I'm gonna bring this one up just like this and bring this one, go something like this maybe, bring this all the way up and really just getting that Apple animation that we, uh, we are looking for today. So this one can probably go out like this. We're gonna put another line right here, bring that down. Then we're gonna take this one, pull it up just a little bit more. Um, and let's see what that looks like. So it's not bad, it does have a lot of bounce to it. Now there is another way we can do this. So you can keep the animation like that, or you can completely delete all of those keyframes that we just made. Go to the size and right click and go to modify with and go to anim curves. Go to the modifiers and go to easing under the curve. And then go under this right one right here and go ahead and hit elastic. Make sure the scale is at one, so that way it's not getting too big. If we play this through, it has a really small, long animation. So to fix this, so turn that time scale up to about 1.9, maybe even more, to be honest, maybe like a, like a three. And if we play this through, we now have this elastic animation that the file now has. So if we, so let's say we wanna use this, right? Let's say we have this animation that goes like this and we take that all new text effect that we just made and we put it under, we have this cool effect. Now, if we come here and we actually play around with this, we can put that right there and look at what we're making already in DaVinci Resolve with everything. Um, and this can all be done with my Apple Pack too. But boom, just like that, we got Apple animations and DaVinci Resolve in under 20 minutes. Guys, if you found this video informational, drop a like and subscribe because I'm only bringing you guys heaters lately and you guys cannot lie. So drop a subscribe for more amazing content just like this. Praise the Lord. Thank you guys all for watching this video. Go check out the new Apple Pack and I'll see you guys in the next video.